Have you ever wondered what the differences between accounting, finance, and economics are? To the untrained eye, these three fields might seem like different sides of the same coin. However, they each have their unique perspectives and specialties. Accounting, the language of business, is all about recording, summarizing, and analyzing financial transactions. Finance, on the other hand, is concerned with how money is managed and the actual process of acquiring needed funds. Then there's economics, the broadest of the three, studying how societies, governments, businesses, households, and individuals allocate their scarce resources. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at each of these fields. We'll delve into their unique roles, their intersections, and how they differ from each other. Whether you're considering a career in one of these fields or just curious about the world of money and numbers, this video should enlighten you. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of numbers and money. First off, we'll take a look at accounting. Think of accounting as the backbone of business, the unsung hero that keeps everything running smoothly. It's the system that tracks, records, and reports financial transactions, ensuring that every penny is accounted for. It's the meticulous art of keeping tabs on all the inflows and outflows of cash, whether it's for a multinational corporation or your personal savings account. If you've ever wondered where your money goes, or how a business keeps track of its profits and losses, then you're thinking about accounting. It's an essential tool for understanding financial health, making informed decisions, and planning for the future. Accounting is all about precision and detail. It follows a set of standard methodologies that are universally recognized. These methodologies ensure consistency, reliability, and accuracy in the financial data reported. The two major methodologies you might come across are Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, or GAAP, and International Financial Reporting Standards, or IFRS. These are the rulebooks accountants use to ensure they're speaking the same financial language, no matter where they are in the world. But it's not just about crunching numbers. Accounting also involves interpreting and communicating this financial information to stakeholders. It provides a clear and accurate picture of a company's financial position, which is crucial for decision-making processes. Whether it's a CEO deciding on a new investment, a potential investor assessing the company's profitability, or a regulator ensuring the company is complying with financial laws, they all rely on the information provided by accounting. In the realm of personal finance, accounting plays an equally important role. It helps individuals track their income, expenses, savings, and investments. It's the foundation of financial planning, enabling people to understand their financial position, set financial goals, and make informed decisions about their money. So, whether you're managing a business, planning your personal finances, or just trying to make sense of the financial world, accounting is a vital tool. It's a discipline that requires precision, attention to detail, and a deep understanding of financial systems. In essence, accounting is the language of business. Now, let's shift gears and talk about finance. Think of finance as the engine room of the economy. It's where the big decisions about money and investments are made. Finance is all about the management, creation, and study of money and investments. It's a field that's crucial to the functioning of the modern world and it's everywhere you look. Picture this, you're planning a trip. You've got to figure out how much it's going to cost, how you're going to pay for it, and what you're going to do if something goes wrong. That's finance. Or imagine you're a business owner. You need to decide whether to invest in a new piece of machinery, how to raise the money to pay for it, and how to mitigate the risks involved. That's finance too. But how do finance professionals make these decisions? They use a range of methodologies including financial modeling and risk assessment. Financial modeling is a way of representing a real-world financial situation in an abstract form using mathematical formulas. It's a bit like building a scale model of a building or a car, but in this case, you're building a model of a financial decision. Risk assessment, on the other hand, is all about understanding and quantifying uncertainty. It's about figuring out what could go wrong, how likely it is, and what the consequences might be. It's a crucial part of finance because every investment carries some level of risk. The applications of finance are wide-ranging from personal finance to corporate finance. In personal finance, it's about managing your money, investing wisely, and planning for the future. In corporate finance, it's about making the right investment decisions to drive growth and create value for shareholders. So, whether you're planning a vacation, running a business, or just trying to make ends meet, finance plays a crucial role. It's about making the most of your resources, managing risk, and making informed decisions about the future. 
Indeed, finance is the science of money management. On to our third field, economics. Just like accounting and finance, economics is a vast and complex field. However, its focus is a bit broader than our previous two. While accounting is about recording and interpreting financial transactions, and finance is about managing money and capital, economics is concerned with the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. Economics asks questions like, how do we allocate our scarce resources? What influences the price of goods? What leads to economic growth? And what causes economic downturns? It's a field that's all about understanding the choices people make and how those choices impact the world around us. Economists use a variety of methods to study these questions. Some economists rely on complex theories and models to understand economic behavior and phenomena. These models can help explain everything from why people decide to buy a new car to how entire economies grow and change over time. They might look at data from the past to predict future trends, or they might conduct experiments to test their theories. But economics isn't just about theory. It has practical applications too. Economists play a crucial role in policymaking. They help governments decide how to spend their money, what kind of taxes to impose, and how to regulate industries to promote growth and stability. They also advise businesses, helping them to understand the economic environment and make strategic decisions. Moreover, economics touches on many societal issues. It can shed light on topics like inequality, poverty, and environmental sustainability. It helps us understand why some countries are rich and others are poor, why some people have so much while others have so little. So, economics is a broad and complex field, but at its core, it's about understanding how we make choices and how those choices affect our world. It's about understanding the forces that shape our lives, from the price of a loaf of bread to the health of our global economy. Put simply, economics is the study of how people and societies use limited resources. Now that we've explored each field individually, it's time to put them side by side. Let's start with the focus of each field. Accounting is all about the past. It's the process of recording, summarizing, and reporting financial transactions that have already happened. On the other hand, finance is forward-looking. It's concerned with planning for, managing and investing money for the future. Economics, however, is a much broader field. It examines how individuals, businesses and governments make choices about how to allocate resources. Next, let's consider the methodologies. Accounting uses concrete, objective data to create financial reports. It's a precise rule-based discipline. Finance, while also utilizing data, is more about making predictions and taking calculated risks. This involves a good deal of analysis and decision-making. Economics, meanwhile, combines data analysis with theory to understand and predict behaviors and trends. Now, on to the application of these fields. Accounting is essential for businesses to keep track of their financial health and for regulatory compliance. In the world of finance, the skills are applied in investment strategies, financial planning, and risk management. As for economics, its concepts are used in everything from government policymaking to business strategy and even personal financial decisions. Of course, there are areas where these fields overlap. All three require a strong understanding of numbers and data. Each one informs the other in some way. For instance, accountants use financial principles to interpret data, while economists might draw on financial data to inform their theories. However, what sets each field apart is its unique perspective. Accountants view the world through the lens of transactions and financial statements. Financiers look at the future, making predictions and taking risks. Economists, on the other hand, see the bigger picture, examining how different factors influence the economy as a whole. While they may seem similar, each field has its own distinct approach and focus. So, whether you're interested in the past, the future, or the broader economic landscape, there's a field for you. So there you have it, a brief overview of accounting, finance, and economics. We've journeyed through the meticulous world of accounting, where every penny matters and balance sheets rule. We then delved into the sphere of finance, a realm of investment, risk management, and capital allocation. Lastly, we explored the broad, encompassing field of economics, where supply meets demand and nation's fortunes are determined. Each of these domains carries its unique perspective and tools, yet they all converge to create a comprehensive understanding of the business and financial world. Accounting provides the factual foundation, finance strategizes based on those facts, and economics gives us the big picture, 
setting the scene within which the other two operate. So whether it's the detailed precision of accounting, the strategic planning of finance, or the macro insights of economics, they each have a crucial role to play. Next time you hear these terms, you'll know exactly what they mean and how they differ. Remember, knowledge is power. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.